Hi, and thank you for watching this episode of Crime Watch. I encourage viewers to listen and follow some of the crime prevention tips that I discuss. This may prevent you from being a victim. The show was created to keep you, the residents and businesses of Shelby Township, informed of reported crimes that have occurred. Most crimes can be prevented by changing a few things that have been overlooked. My job as host is to inform you of the crimes and provide ways to prevent them from reoccurring. Being a victim is never what you want to be. To begin, I would like to welcome our new Chief of Police, Robert Shalide, to the Shelby Township Police Department. Chief Shalide brings with him 28 years of law enforcement experience. We look forward to working with Chief Shalide in continuing to provide professionalism and community support for residents and businesses alike. I will be covering reported crimes that have occurred between January 3rd and January 22nd of 2015. Let's begin. On January 7th, in the 5500 block of Celestial Court, officers were investigating a reported B&E and another residence in the area and found footprints in the snow that led to this residence. The garage was left open and it appeared the subjects rummaged through the garage in an unlocked vehicle parked inside. Entry was not gained into the home due to the exterior door being locked. On January 19th, in the 50,000 block of Bethesda Court, a resident returned home from a short out-of-town trip to discover that his home had attempted to be broken into. He discovered his sliding glass door wall screen was cut. He looked further into it and was told that the alarm system was activated and when police were called, they checked the home to be secure. The sliding door wall had a little bit of play in it, which activated the alarm and scared the subjects away from going any further. Home alarm systems are a good investment, and in this instance, it paid for itself. On January 5th, in the 56,000 block of Harley, a home under construction suffered a huge loss. 115 boxes of hardwood flooring, which was scheduled to be installed, was taken from the home. That cost the homeowner $8,800 and a long delay in completing the project. On January 15th, in the 3800 block of Newland Court, a pair of Nike basketball shoes were ordered online and delivered by UPS and taken from the porch prior to the resident getting them. It's sad to report that these occurrences are happening quite frequently. Please take note of the projected delivery date when you are ordering and make it a point of either being home, asking a neighbor or other family member to retrieve the items as soon as possible to avoid being a victim of theft. On January 5th at 13997 Hall Road, an employee of Volcano Sushi worked all day and upon returning to her vehicle discovered her vehicle's driver window shattered and wallet containing identification, social security card, credit cards, and cash taken. The vehicle was parked in the rear of the business where no surveillance was installed. On January 7th, in the 3200 block of Lakeside, subjects located an unlocked vehicle parked in the drive and rummaged through it. The owner's contents were scattered about the area, including letters, bills, and a cell phone charger. This person's personal information was thrown around the neighborhood for anyone to retrieve. Locking your vehicle keeps your life private. On January 9th, at 46320 Van Dyke, the Dollar Tree, an employee of the business, left her purse with all its contacts inside her vehicle while at work, but the vehicle was left unlocked and it was found by subjects. The frustration now begins, credit card cancellation and a flag on her identification, which means photo identification will be required to use any of her credit cards, social security number, bank accounts, etc. Lock your car, save yourself a lot of headache. And lastly, on January 11th at 50625 Van Dyke, The Rink, and 45841 Hayes, Buddy's Pizza, the catalytic converter thieves struck taking two off vehicles. In both instances, the thefts occurred between one o'clock and two o'clock in the afternoon. These thieves take less than five minutes, but their behavior would be suspicious to anyone watching. The Shelby Township Police Department will be hosting their Spring Citizens Academy starting March 18th and running seven weeks ending April 29th. The classes begin at 7 p.m. and last until 9 p.m. every Wednesday. 
I urge residents and business owners in the township to fill out an application and attend the academy. You will leave after seven weeks having a different perspective on what the Shelby Township Police Department offers you and how you can assist them. Hope to see you March 18th. <laughs>